Drama. Oh, so yeah, so I know I've just played seven hours of Diablo Four. I got kicked out finally. I'm waiting in queue, so might as well just cover this recent. I don't know what I would call. It. Is it drama really? I think drama is more this like. This new segment. I think drama is more like you have a issue with the person on the personal level. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's th this fits the bill. All right. So apparently Charles made a YouTube video. The cost of dishonesty. I haven't watched it yet. Luca Cash's Paris fraud. So if you don't know who Luca Cash is, I think he's like a basically a content creator for ESO. Yes. And he not only does PvE stuff, he also does PvP. I think he's like a PvP main that's sort of like does kind of like a bit of everything like I do. So I'm kind of curious what this video is going to show now one of his uh, charles points is also that he post built on well, hex the Mano tower well well we'll see we'll see we'll see because okay so so the reason why i know about this is because like i don't know like people fucking ping me about it <laughs> so what is what was the shit happy or satisfied making this video but a bunch of others and myself felt like it had to be done as many of my friends wasted a lot of time and energy recently trying to find out what was wrong with their gameplay over and over okay. without knowing that the parses they were trying to reproduce were not achievable. I want to talk about some things that got exposed recently to me and to the endgame community in general. Okay. I guess you all know Luke Akash, content creator for both PvE and PvP, that is getting a lot of exposure from new players by making guides with Hack the Minotaur. Yesterday, someone contacted me about the parse he released on Stamina Sorcerer, yeah. where he got 138k with a Reliquent setup, which is kinda totally insane. If you know what the current patch- 138k on the Sork. Is that with Reaper? With like, bugged? I don't know. Sealing it for DPSs on the dummy. Other, Other parsers are mostly around 132-133k with this- that, that, That's true. It's it's about 133-ish. ...setup, and he absolutely- 138, that. that's that's a lot! That's a big difference between the 133 and 138. <laughs> that's a huge shit ton. You have to get like so many fucking crits. You gotta get really lucky? Or some shit, bro, like... I'm used to getting this kind of DMs. There are a lot of people that have doubts about Lukakash being legit for a various number of reasons. Really? I'm saying it already. I am contacted pretty often about it, but I am not gonna elaborate on the macro accusations because, anyway, no one has any proof of that. Okay. Instead, as I was saying, I got another DM from someone asking me if Lukakash was legit, considering all the max hit Lukakash was getting in his parse were higher than his own, and it wasn't normal. It's a 6k differential compared to people with the same setup and the same crit profile, but this is where you can tell something is off. The parse is showcasing is 2 minutes and 40 seconds. But it shouldn't be. The CMX says 231. So. Wait, 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 the wait. Way DPS I don't get it. Hold on, what? But it shouldn't be. So the CMX says 2 minute 31. The CMX says. What the f. Showcasing what? The parses. 2 minutes and 40 seconds. 2 minute 40. But it shouldn't be. The CMX says. 31. So, the way DPS works on the dummy is that the faster you kill the dummy, the more DPS you have, by logic. So, what? so if a 231 <coughs> kill is equal to 138k DPS... Can I just say something? Like, the fact that... <laughs> we've come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> we've come from... We've, we've gone from exposed videos in PvP to like exposed videos in PvE. I'm just going to say that right then now. What you can see I think, I think it's really funny. not the case. This is too slow. If you count the number of rack rock rocks, rocks, you can easily see that the parse he's showing in the video is not the famous 138k parse. It's actually just a very average parse. Oh, you counted the, the rack rocks? For you could wonder that takes why we didn't upload time. the parse from so the he, Okay, so Charles watched the video and counted how many frag procs he got and looked at the CMX for the 138k. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I okay. did. That, that's... Okay. This. I have a question. Uh, Isn't that little... I don't know, like, that's a lot of time. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of time invested <laughs> into this. But I kind of get, get it, though. 
But if he kept on getting questions, he probably spent that, more time right. responding to people being like, I don't know why. Right. So that's exactly what I was going to say. Just if people are asking him, maybe he was finally just like, okay, let's figure it out. Uh, well, Question enough. Like, th th there's something there. Um, well, otherwise, why would people ask it? Right. Mm -hmm. But, okay, here's a thing. I'm gonna assume because um, I, I haven't really talked to Luca ever. I don't. I don't really know him at all. But I'm gonna assume he's not dumb. And mm -hmm. from my personal experience, only dumb people fake parses <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's so much work faking a parse, like photoshopping the numbers or like changing the numbers because the, you fucking mess up one or two digits. Just people just will know. Watch. Just watch the video. Okay. Okay. Just okay. Watch okay. 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 Drag <laughs> and load it. And okay. we found Lulu, okay. about that, as you might know, Kuma Matrix is an add-on and it can be edited however you want. So for example, if you would like to fake a parse, you could just edit combatmatrix.lua yes, to add a base yeah, multiplayer you to your damage, or just use something like Chit Engine to edit some values. And well, you, you can check that with one little thing, two things actually. Firstly, as you might know, light attacks have been capped with the current patch, Yes, they now have a max value that can only change depending on your target debuffs. That's why if you look at sorcerer parses from a lot of different people, 17. the light attack yeah, max hits will right. always be the same because on a dummy, no matter what you do, you can't get more than that value on a sorcerer, yeah. even if you are using a set like Coral that is increasing your stats. No matter the crit RNG, no matter your setup, as long as you have enough stats, which you will have in any optimized dummy setup, your light attack will always have this max hit value and you cannot get a different result. Mm -hmm. However, as you can see, Luka Cash light attack are hitting 3% higher than what they should. So they're hitting for 17,037 max on light attacks and Luka is hitting 17,532 max. Uh, no, that's not it seems a bit weird. Shoots, which is simply I, I not wonder. possible. The only possibility is that Sig mix have been edited to create a fake bars with a base damage increase. What you can also check really Relic when max hits, as it's a proc set which can't crit. The max hit of really should only be influenced by blue thirsty jewels, and therefore be the same. You can see on other parses this is the same, mm -hmm. and you can check on Luca Fix CMX, this is not the same. We were concerned about that, so we checked every other videos he posted, <laughs> and we found the exact same thing on all oh the others. God. They checked every other video, bro? What list the? them all here, but you can just go and check for yourself. No matter what, the timing are off, the parts he's showcasing are not the ones from the CNX he pretends to get. This is just random parses with adding an artificially juiced up CNX at the end. The numbers themselves aren't random, he has specifically picked them to seem legit as they are one or two k higher than That's... the highest other powers on similar specs, so it seems legit, probably to farm as many YouTube views as possible. This is it for the debunk part. Now I want to talk about why this is a real big problem, in my opinion. Firstly, this is extremely unhealthy, as it made a lot of experienced players I know waste their own time based off this. They spend their own time checking setups repeatedly, resetting CPs, etc, etc, and in general, made a lot of endgame players feel bad about their own performances. <laughs> One of them realized something wasn't accurate and told me about it, but Hello. this will not always be oh, the case up? for less experienced individuals, especially Sorry, in this community I'm watching where you so are coming from Hugs Minotaur, or something. Oh, did not realize that okay. this parse so isn't realistic due to either CMX manipulation. The no, so summary so far, Charles is accusing Luca Cash of faking CMX parses based on his maxes for Reliquin and Lie Attacks. Oh, and so because they capped it, right? Right, and he's also saying mm -hmm. like the numbers that you see from the other videos in terms of duration and damage total done is intentionally there because he manipulated numbers to look like that. I think that's a big accusation to make. Honestly, I, I don't know. We'll, uh, okay. A lot of we'll content creators are actually investing a lot of time to what? test and figure out the best setups, then optimize them and crit farm them to we'll find their them. ceiling. Yeah, but fucking people like Luca Cash are only leeching from others and then spreading yeah. misinformation about the class, real numbers, and sailing, which deprive people from having a legit source for baseline based templates.
What happened a few patches ago is that he made his own setups with Wall everywhere, okay. which led a lot of people considering Wall as a new best in slot trial set, while despite the fact that it was not only strictly inferior to Reliquen, but also a terrible option back then, inferior to Syria on every level. But he created some illegitimate parses to back it up so people thought it was best in slots, <laughs> and wasted oh, all their time and transmits for a set that stayed terrible for months as following. Ooh. That's Most a big accusation, oh my simple. god. Whoever is pulling the highest number is the best player. To gather mm. information from and by processing yeah. fake CMXs and content in general, he participated in misleading a lot of people, especially casual from Hugs Minotaur, to use worse options or setups that they would trust him with, and you will get player trying to spam Dark Flare on their Magblar or replace Talon for Deep Race on their Mech DK. Wait, what so, Dark yeah, Flare? That's it. Not only wait, look at Cash made a video about. Wait, wait, wait. Look at Cash made a video with Dark Flare in the rotation. <laughs> Yo, oh. no way, bro. I didn't know this, but if I saw someone use Dark Flare in their rotation, I'd be like, I'd be laughing my ass off. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna have to file the boss. <laughs> Is this uh, disrespect? I, I don't know if anyone knows, like, Templar. I don't know about, uh, I don't know, bro. Like, <laughs> towards the viewers and the YESO community, but also towards the countless hours invested by the content creators in offering okay. reliable sources of information for everyone. And I feel really bad for people who try hard to get similar numbers, but wasted their own time and energy, only to feel bad about themselves without knowing that it was not achievable. I don't know what is gonna happen now, and I honestly don't care. Okay. It just felt like the situation was ridiculous, and I had to talk about it. Jesus. Okay. So, thoughts? Uh, <laughs> Num huge, number wise. Huge like, accusation. Okay, so the main points are uh, lie attack, oh, I didn't forget. Netflix, max damage ass, ticks next. are not the same as everybody else's. Which doesn't make sense for update 37. Mm -hmm. And the second accusation is what was it? Reliquin? Reliquin max ticks? It's, you know, you can't create with yeah. Reliquin. It's also capped, basically, like light attacks. It's also different. Mm -hmm. uh, third accusation was like he would. I, I don't know how. I don't know if it's true. That's the thing. Because I, I haven't looked at every fucking video this, guy, this motherfucker did. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. But okay, here's the thing. I, I was saying this earlier before sh before Shinji was like, just watch the video. I'm like, what dumbass is gonna edit a fucking parse? That's my question. That's People have tried, work. all right. And one digit being off gives it all away. So mm -hmm. maybe people just didn't look at these this guy's parses or whatever. People, or maybe not. Like, uh, it's not typically look at it in detail. They just look at the yeah. real number. Yeah, people who don't look so deep into a CMX, like as you would or I would, like they're, well, like said, they're just looking at the damage number, what the set is, and what the skills are. Like, that's, as they literally look at like the top three damage things, mm -hmm. and they don't okay. care about anything else. All they want to do is replicate what they see. Uh, and I can, I can understand why people will be mad about it. Like, it, if, what someone is representing in a video uh, as content, as a guide, is false. Okay. I can understand why people might be a, a bit pissed off about it because, as Charles. Oh, said in no, the video, no. This is a. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know if this is drama, drama, but like, I think this is like not serious, as in like, oh, this guy's a fucking, you know. Oh, yeah. This no, guy, this is this Watergate. No, for this, ESO, no, no, okay. Okay, okay. It's not like this guy's a fucking, you know, like pedo power or some shit, all right? But like. I know you're oh, no. gonna say that. <laughs> but like, no, but it's still it's... semi kind of serious because it's like, okay, so if this person is supposedly making up parses and shit, all right, how do you tr trust that person? And also, how do you also trust. By extension, some other people, if that makes sense, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Nefes, we talked about this when we were talking about the add-ons with the add-on devs about how you could technically modify add-ons as yes. well as the, uh, you know, like for the clears to say, that, oh, you've cleared this and that. It's very easy to actually modify the add-on itself. Yeah, yeah. So there is no real way to have like a sort of anti-cheat for add-ons because mm -hmm. it's Lua, and by extension. For someone to use the add-on, they have to have access to the source code itself. Mm. So 
you would have to have some sort of statistical analysis for you to determine that, okay, so someone has modified the, the add-on to cheat, right? So it's, yeah. Well, see, it's, yeah. well, you know. See, Unicorn said he mod the add-on. Okay, so someone sent me this thing too. Yeah. Uh, like, apparently, you can edit CMX. Oh, yes, yes. Like this. Yes, yeah. Can. Yeah, yeah. To... So you can replace the ability ID, or not replace, you can like adjust the ability ID's numbers. Yeah, you have a scaler there. Yeah. I, dude, I would have asked Soldener, the add on developer, if, if, if this is possible. <laughs> it is possible. In fact, I could try it, or, I could try it right now, actually. You try it right uh, now? Yo, go yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? I don't know, bro. Can it like. Scaled up to like what, like okay, so old, bugged, like DK Ultimate levels or what? So the accusation is he didn't Photoshop; he edited the add-on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because, okay, interesting. Uh man, that's a lot of work, bro. That's, <laughs> that's so much work. work. Really. But not really, not, not really. really. I mean, really, yeah. No. no, if you know where to look for, then it's just you change one t one number. I mean, bro, I don't. If this is true, it would be like hilarious because, like, I don't know anyone who's <laughs> ever done this before. Yes, there's Pick been up, Photoshop yeah. incidents in the past with people trying to fake parses. Yes, there's been people who, like, even tried to fake logs, but I've never heard of anyone going into an add on and editing the add on <laughs> and one faking incident. a parse, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Mean, but I have. You know I think this happened before, and this was on Rocco 2 in HRC. Some guy actually edited his his parse the parse log itself. Okay. Uh, this was back in 2017, and the reason was the numbers didn't add up. Like okay. all of the damage numbers were off from the total like parse. So that's how I, I knew, but I never actually had something like capped light attacks to use as like you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but it's spot. it's much easier in an add-on because yeah, here, it's much easier in the add-on than the log itself. Yes, but, it's much yeah. easier, and you just know you just have to know where to look for, and then you can just do it. It's just editing one number. One number. And yes. Um. Well, okay. Here's the thing, too. I don't think you should trust dummy numbers. Purely. I think Cody had talked well, about no, it earlier. No, no. Like, I don't understand why people... I don't know. Not people, sorry. Not people. Use of players. <laughs> yeah, we're not people. That's locked. <laughs> why do use of uh, players put so much stock into dummy numbers, bro? I don't get it. I don't know. Well, Dude, I kind of want to send this video to Asian God and see if he can, like, deconstruct the numbers or some shit. You know what I mean? Oh. That's... 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 I trust Asian God, all right? Like, Lulu's a great guy. Morgrax's mm -hmm. a good guy. Uh, Charles, he means well. So, but I, <laughs> he means well. He means well. Come on, I mean, come oh, on. I'm not going to lie. That's true, that's true. He means well. <laughs> but I trust Asian God's, you know, fucking number crunching. So maybe I'll send the fucking video, bro. You know? Is this Asian's return to ESO? <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Let, let, let's watch a uh, fucking... This was it. The response that video. That comment was right, by the way. I am the architect of all of this. We Luca Cash, <laughs> ten thousand. Okay, Luca Cash statement exclamation point. It's less than a minute. Wait, wait. Less than a minute. Yeah, he, he says nothing in this. What's up? What's up, Jessica? <laughs> wait, we have to welcome Brian back. Well, oh back, no, no, no 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 no! Welcome okay, back, yeah. Brian. Welcome Thank you. Back. Thank you. I missed all of you. Welcome back. Okay. Shinzu. Okay, right. now go. So. There's this video about me. I've never heard his voice. Oh, look, he has a nice voice. Analyzing my pauses, especially my stamina source of pauses. Oh, he's a European one? Talking player? about that the yeah. fight yeah, time which German. I've shown in the it's video German, is different yeah. than the actual metrics pass. The reason okay. is simple, guys. I pass around 10 plus hours for each character, sometimes more or less. What? 10, oh, 10 plus that hours, so bro? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's okay. Farming RNG, okay, dude. here's the thing. I've crit, crit farm RNG. too for you know build videos and shit, but I don't think I've done ten fucking hours per character. Dude, bro. I've done five shit. hours. That's dedication, bro. That. Oh, oh my god. god, I've done maybe like three or two hours tops. You know, just yeah. ch switching enchantments and fucking testing multiple times for setup. But I don't think ten, 10 hours. 
Do they have jobs in Germany? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although, to be fair, dude, that's 10 hours of every day, day or not every day. Dude, that's that's insane. Every day of parsing. 10 hours? <laughs> that's a job, bro. <laughs> that's more that than a job. That's slavery. A job. Oh my god, bro. What happens? I do not record every single pass. He doesn't record every single part. Oh yeah, I wouldn't either, honestly. I, well, I would record and delete the ones that are dog shit if I'm grid farming. The pass I've showed you in the video was a different one to show you simply the rotation. Sorry rotation. for the confusion. For the future builds, okay. I will simply show you the pass with the same combat metric screenshot without any cuts in between. Like a I don't get it. Why would you not post uh... the highest bars? Yeah. Why would you not post the CMX related to the actual pass you showed? Right. Why would. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, this doesn't make sense Maybe. now. <laughs> but but this is this okay, is the, right, the best point he makes in the video. By the way, this is the only good point. The the rest is dog shit. So get let's your think about this. Ready. Computers are sometimes unpredictable, and okay. things either don't record or okay. get deleted. Sure. This happens. Maybe. Right, but that's not what but, he's saying here. Yeah, but he does that. No, with no, video. he's saying that the this. Video does not match this CMX parse. He right, didn't but use they that. said but in the last video why. that there were multiple videos that didn't match. Every single one of his videos. Uh, you know, Svavi from ESOU, he went to every one of his recent videos and he pointed out that every single CMX has that time discrepancy. Oh, no. He the also parts. mentioned <laughs> that he doesn't record every parse, so maybe. The highest parse happens to be the one who's not recording. Every single time. That's crazy. I'm just saying, I'm looking at this from the other end of things. But the thing Let me is... try, right? He gets better performance when he's not recording. So therefore, he only does a recording video for the <laughs> rotation. And the actual top parse is unrecorded, so he gets the best performance. And that gives him that extra boost, all right? That is not actually correct, though, because in the past... He used to actually do his parses live and not do a jump cut to a different CMX every single time until like. But was he top parse in the past though? Yes, he made like you know the fucking what's it called that one where he used whirl on a mag sork or whatever hundred thirty six k. He doesn't do like cut that one, and that one's still like way higher <laughs> than it's supposed okay. to be. Okay. Bro, imagine asking Asian to give up his free time to deconstruct alleged parts from all the fucking dummy for a game he hasn't played in a year. Nah, you need to pay him. <laughs> this is like when people used to get their friends to lie for them about the blood spawn parses. Yeah, he killed the boss before the fucking place came to trust, bro. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Uh, just... Okay, okay, so let's see what he's... Okay, I don't know, I'm a little skeptical because when I... And, uh, some people I know do like dummy parses and shit, we record where I shadow play. No, we don't record everything, but like, okay, here, here's what happens. I'll start recording for a parse. If it's dog shit, right? Like I can tell, but from, if you're, if you're crit farming, you can just, you just look at the numbers and say, okay, this is it, or I'm just gonna uh, reset the mm -hmm. dummy. Okay. That takes about maybe 20, 30 seconds at, at most to determine if the crit farm is good or not. <laughs> and um, uh, if, if the crit farm is not good, you, I, I personally just, go into the video folder after I stop recording and delete that. But if I get a parse that's like super good, I'm going to keep that recording. That's where I'm confused mm -hmm. because it's like, why would you, I don't, I don't get it. Or maybe people well, just I mean, don't, don't do that. This, this is still the fairest point he makes and it's plausible. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. But okay. Well, let's move on. He did it in the past to avoid such conspiracy theories about the lie detect damage difference. It's nothing unusual that numbers are weirdly high or different on PTS, or even on live server sometimes. It happens that max hits are what? higher than usual, it's probably just a combat metrics issue. But enough of this talk, thanks for listening, I had to do this video, I was kind of forced to it, I hope um, all of this will be no issue in the future. Peace. At the add on at deck, the add that's uh, unacceptable. And the okay, deck. this is yeah. not this video. This is not good. This is not good. him just fucking guilty as shit. <laughs> No, okay. Guys, the PTS and the add-on is wrong, guys. I mean, Please okay. Me. What's his... Uh, what was his add-on version? <laughs> right? What is that? In the, in Charles' video of Lucas's video. 
CMX 1.5.10. What's the current version of CMX? It's updated for live. So what? That would be 1. CMX 1.5.11, I would say? Yeah. No, I so. Actually, I think it's 13 because there, there was like multiple It is 13. Buttons. I'm looking at it now. But 11 was the one that's on live, I believe, or... Well, We're still friend. able to download the old version as well if we need to double check. Oh, true. Right. So, <laughs> what was what a change lock say for, I don't know, fucking 11? Uh, 12, no, 10. 10. Oh. So right. 10, it says added special tracking for Zen. Okay. It's just Show like Chief Zen style. and. Oh, really? Well, oh, that's actually stocks. I didn't know that. I'm going to confirm this shit. He's checking with his uh, informant. No, 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 I'm looking at the video. Okay, the so I just realized, what I just it? fucking realized something. It can't be the add-on. Yeah. It can't be the add-on. Okay. You know why? Well, Look at Plectro's CMX. In the bottom right corner, CMX 1.5.10 LC64, right? And then compared to this mm -hmm. guy's CMX, where the fuck is this guy's CMX? CMX 1.5.10 LC64. But... What is that ESO RC, Brian, next to it? 8.3.4. So whatever. RC means it's PTS. It's the release candidate. Okay. That's the name they give release to that candidate. environment. Yeah, and that's for... 464. So it's a different PTS week. Judging by the tail end of the number. But that's the same exact uh, version of CMX, right? Regardless of the yeah, release true. candidate. Pretty sure this one was broken well, as well in PTS. It can be changed no, somewhat. Like visually but... UI broken, not the actual numbers. I don't think the numbers for CMX have ever been broken, have they? Like damage numbers. Uh, uh... there was one time when like it wasn't accounting for a certain buff, but that was like a while ago. What well, that was like what twenty? Like years. I mean, ago. okay. The only game? way that like yeah. The CMX, like the only way that he's fucking, I mean, no, if, ignoring the reliquin numbers, the only way he'd be like higher than the other two parses shown is if he, the other two parses never crit in the first 10% with their light attacks, which is highly unlikely, but who knows? I mean, I just don't buy the whole thing about the CMX being buggy because. It's the same client. <laughs> you know what I mean? So how are these people with the exact same parses, or not parses, numbers? On Does the he same... actually show his uh, damage? Um... It's all 1.5.10. So uh, what, how come their parts. numbers aren't bugging out? That's my question. And, and, and they kept parsing too. Because Mordra I know Mordrak's a fucking dummy lover. Like he's obsessed with the dummy. Same for yeah. Charles. He's fucking obsessed he with the a, dummy. He has but, a dummy body. Uh, all these people in the video are fucking obsessed with the dummy. <laughs> <laughs> so how come they never got the bug? That's my fucking question. I mean... <laughs> but then... Because it's a lie. It's not about well, the CMX. It wasn't a bug. That's, I, I want to ask Soliner, bro. I want to ask Soliner, bro. I don't know. I don't really see anything. Well, okay, hear me out. Hear me, hear, me, hear me out. Hear me out. What I mean, if... it's impossible to prove. Like, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you impossible. Really it. It's hard, but I don't think it's impossible. But, um, hear me out. What if, and this is just like the devil's advocate in me. Okay. What if, he's, what if Charles and Mordrak are jealous? <laughs> 100%. It's a mixture of jealousy and truth. So, yeah. There's I mean, an element of truth with the whole cap lag attack thing. What it's if, very hard to like. What if it's it? a conspiracy? All right. Oh boy. <laughs> what if they all got together what? and said, "Let's cause some drama to get views." There we go. That's it. That 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 is that's it. That that's the conspiracy. What if Luca Cash is also in on it too? Yeah, the baiting, the baiting is all. Oh, oh yeah. my god, this is Fuck big. It. 